Alright, so PMQs this week was pretty shite. <laughs> it was, it was pretty shite. Um, normally I would show, I try to work the audio as best I can, but normally I would actually show the footage of um, of Boris speaking, of the, the back and forth between Kia and, and Boris, and, and then give my thoughts as it's going through. I'm not doing that this week because I don't really see the point. Usually I, I think it's important to actually show you what Boris is saying, how he's saying it, much like with Trump. I think people who support Trump should actually watch his entire speech, his entire interview, um, because the man's a moron. And the little clips that we get don't highlight that. Um, but this week just wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. This week, Keir Starmer seemed to be focusing on localised lockdown. Now, there is something to be said with... Um, very strict lo localised lockdown rules in certain parts of the country that are predominantly Labour held, while the Conservatives, uh, the, the strong Conservative areas, uh, actually like mine, um, don't really have those restrictions. Now, I've said before, I think the, the best course of action is uh, a national lockdown because I think this country is so small regional lockdowns don't really mean much but I'll fully throw my hands up and say I am not an expert on the matter and the experts on the matter have said localized lockdowns are actually pretty damn good so there's something to be said for localized lockdowns but the way Boris is going about it doesn't really make a lot of sense he's not doing it on highly infected areas he's doing it on which color the area is is this red or is this blue if it's red, we're going to be the harshest we possibly can. If it's blue, we're not too bothered. Um, so Starmer bringing up that kind of makes sense, but he didn't bring up the kids uh, who've, who've gone back to uni and now essentially the uni has become a prison. He didn't uh, go through that at all. And I think that's, that's a real thing that should go through because that shows how little communication this government actually has with the education sector it, it shows because anyone with half a brain would have said okay look we've, we've got this massive thing here now we're going to talk to maybe not all of them but certainly we're going to get the heads from 30 from 30 unis and colleges across the country and we're going to get that feedback we're going to have that big speak they obviously didn't do that because now unis have practically become prisons. And there's a lot of other things. I mean, you can say, yeah, okay, they, they can just do um, online tuitions. Why did they have to go back if it's gonna be online tuitions? And there's another issue with online tuitions, bandwidth. I have it here in my home. If I'm watching uh, YouTube, or if I'm trying to play an online game and I have YouTube on in the background, and then maybe, I don't know, an Audible book that hasn't downloaded properly or anything like this. It's fine for one person in my little flat, but there are things that struggle. Times that by 500. 600, 700. We already know these things drop out, so people aren't getting what they pay for. These kids are getting into debt to get an education that they're not actually going to get. And Starmer didn't bring that up at all. Uh, Starmer also didn't bring up um, what was leaked from the NHS going forward. Now, this isn't from the NHS. This is what the NHS has been told to do. And there's a very big difference. Um, obviously, it's something that I've kept, kept an eye on because it's something we've had before. Care homes. What we had leaked was if you are from a care home, whether you test positive or not, whether you get negative and you get the all clear or not, you're getting turfed out of hospital within a couple of days and sent back to the care home when this elevates to a certain point. So this bullshit that Boris has of putting his arms around the country, it's just that, it's bullshit. And this is going to lead to a lot more deaths in care homes. This is going to lead to a lot more uh, dead colleagues. Um, that I have and everyone else who works in gas. And Stalma hasn't brought this up in PMQs. There was one part where um, 
Boris brought up the debt, saying that um, a Labour government wouldn't have been able to do anything as effectively as what the Conservatives have, because the Conservatives um, have done right for the last 10 years, and all the Labour knows how to do is put into debt. I would have kept this number on me and I would have said this week the 25th of September 2020 the UK national debt hits a record of 2.024 trillion that is the highest our national debt has ever been after 10 years of the Conservatives 2.024 zero to four trillion they are not the the party of physical uh, fiscal responsibility they are the, the the party that puts the country into debt so I would have kept that number on me I, I would have had it written down kept it in my pocket and then brought it out that's what I would have done the final question from Starmer was um, about Black History Month. Well, not about Black History, but he brought up Black History Month. It's, it's almost upon us. And um, he brought up that women of colour die in childbirth at a much higher rate than white women. And there's an issue there that needs to be resolved. I mean, if he wanted to go down that route, I personally, and maybe this is just a low blow, you tell me. But I would have brought up or found a way to sneak in the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson himself, said at a public party, surrounded by witnesses, he went up to a black woman and he made monkey noises. I would have found a way of getting that in there. I would have found a way of exposing his racism. I would have brought up that four years ago as Foreign Secretary he lied which got Nazim Radcliffe thrown in an Iranian prison cell where she still is. He doubled down on his lie which is why she's still there and the fact that he's so much of a Trump bitch and won't push to get her freed even though she fucking shouldn't be there in the first place, I would have brought that up. Probably with less swearing but I would have thought that would have been more important. But that's just me. So this week's PMQs, I think, were incredibly, uh, incredibly weak, incredibly pathetic um, from Starmer. I get that localised lockdowns um, on paper seem to be the better way to go, and I'm happy to admit that I'm wrong with that. Um... But the way that the Conservatives are going about it isn't by medical advisors. They're, they're doing it based on what colour is the chair there. Is it red or is it blue? If it's red, we're going to be strict. If it's blue, we don't give a fuck. Um, so yeah, this, this week was, was pretty lame. Uh, I do have an update. Side note. So I did a video a couple of months ago now with my first test of the year um i was in care home i was in the, the flat on the side of the care home where i was working that night i showed you exactly what we got um, i showed you the name of the company um i just had my second test uh last week in fact now with this second test because of how skeptical i was uh, with how quickly they came back compared to friends who work in care homes near me and how uh, how long theirs took to come back. I wasn't entirely sure mine was done right. Now, I have no proof to say that it was a false negative, but finding out that my, my manager was told that the tests were inconclusive and I was told that I tested negative, that's a big problem. My little prop. This is the, the, the stick. I was given the, the swab I was given it's meant to go to the back of your throat and up your snozzer this is what I did and then I put it in the, the the vial with the solution in that's what I did that will come back inconclusive 
I had a message come through, you've tested negative. The company that is doing these tests are giving out false negatives. They're coming through inconclusive. Maybe I'll do a separate video on this, but I just wanted to, to push this out in case I didn't have the time. Uh, so yeah, that's another issue. Another issue that Starmer should have brought up because this is quite well known information. Keep safe, take care, and I will see you next time. Hopefully I won't be as blurry as this.